Behind me is the world's biggest cruise ship. It's four times bigger than the Titanic and has 10,000 people on board. And for the next 100 hours, it'll be my home. All right, so we made it on the ship. This is my plan, I haven't told you this. Okay. I want to sail the ship by the end of the cruise. I've never even sailed like a jet ski. But I could do it, I think I could. How hard could it be? You just turn to the left if you want to go left, you turn to the right if you want to go right. I think I saw the captain port side though. Could ask him. Port side? What is that? You want to sail the ship, you don't even know the, the port side? Oh my God. This cruise ship is absolutely huge. It has five water slides, nine pools, an entire ice skating rink, a rock climbing wall, and all of that is about 1% of the ship. This is the room that I'm going to be living in. So we've got a nice bed. It's not very big, but it's, it's kind of comfortable. It does come with a window, so I should be able to get a good, you know, view of the ocean. After checking out our rooms, we decided to go up to the pool deck. Now, it may look like I'm just having fun here, but I'm actually taking mental notes of all the ship's features. All that research really made me hungry, so we went up to the food court and got our first meal. With about 98 hours left on the cruise, the ship finally started leaving the port of Miami. We made our way through a couple more massive areas in this cruise ship. There was an entire central park. There was a boardwalk with rides. We even found this entire water theater in the back of the ship. So I've been exploring the entire ship. I made it to the front of the ship. I think that's called the bow, stern, port, starboard. One of those, it's one of them. Also, there's not a lot of people around. We're in the front of the ship. We gotta do it. Right, Steve? I've learned some stuff. Yeah. I learned that they have food and water slides. That's cool. Yeah. That should help you sail it. You gotta know the ship. Gotta know the ship. Yeah. At night, we walked through the casino where Steve lost about 20 bucks. Then we found a bar that was run by two robots named Razzle and Dazzle. After ordering on a touchscreen, Razzle and Dazzle mixed our drinks and delivered them to us in style. For dinner, we ordered a lot of food, including two crab cakes for me and Sam. That might not seem relevant right now, but trust me, there's a reason why I mentioned that. All right, so it's the morning on day two. I'm gonna be honest, feeling a little seasick right now. We've been going through a very big storm. There's been these massive waves. So the ship's been rocking side to side the entire time. I feel like it's not a great look for a captain such as myself to be uh, seasick, but the good news is we're pulling into our first island. It's called Nassau in the Bahamas. So hopefully once the ship docks, it'll start rocking a little bit less and I'll feel a little bit better. Not off to the best start so far, guys. And it only got worse from there. Turns out it wasn't seasickness I was feeling. Me and Sam got a nasty case of food poisoning from dinner the night before. So Steve and his wife, Caitlin, got off the ship and enjoyed Nassau for the day, while me and Sam stayed in bed and tried to sleep the entire day. <laughs> So I lost a lot of time from this stupid food poisoning. I think it was from the crab cake that I had on the first night, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I lost 48 out of the 100 hours. We're down to 29 hours left on this cruise. I just pray that Steve has been doing his research and learning the ship. <laughs> All right, Steve is here to give me a report on what he's learned about the ship. Ugh, Steve-o. Hey, buddy. How are you, buddy? <laughs> Probably better than you. Yeah, this hasn't been fun. Give us the report. How's it, uh, how's the ship? Do you know everything about it now? I've done a lot of research. Okay, give me some, give me some good stuff. Okay, so I've learned that the water slide on the right side goes a little faster than the one on the left side, but I think the left one is more fun. The ski ball machine in the arcade, the one all the way to the left, don't use that one, it's out of order. How does any of that help me sail the ship? 
I yeah, I guess it doesn't really it help. It sounds yeah. like while me and Sam were sick, you were just out having a good time. Well, I gotta know the ship. Do you know how to steer it? No. Do you know what the captain's name is? No. Do you know where the, like, engine room is? No, I don't know any of that. I know where to get the best ice cream, though. So basically, you haven't learned a single thing about sailing the ship. No, but I learned all the fun stuff you can do. You gotta try it, man. It's fun. I am feeling a little better. Yeah? Alright, show me some of the good stuff. Alright. While not particularly helpful in teaching me how to sail a ship, I will admit it was really nice to get out of my room and have some fun. I was so brave. <laughs> Later that day, we made it to a very small island named Coco Cay. After two days of being stuck in our room, Sam and I finally made it outside for some fresh air. We found a part of the island with a bunch of tiny little pigs and made a couple new friends. Once back on board, we enjoyed some dinner and a show. I will be honest, I was starting to get a little worried about my goal of sailing the ship. All right, so we are running out of time very quickly. We only have about four hours left to sail this ship before we have to get off. I overheard someone talking about a ship tour. So I signed us up. Okay. Two all access tickets. Okay. They take you to the engine room. They take you up to the, the deck where they actually steer the ship. I think this is our best chance to meet the captain and actually sail the ship. Yeah. You know, the ship's not really sailing fast enough for my liking. You, what do you want, a uh, motorboat? Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's Crack go. this bad boy up to like 50 knots? Yeah. Is that I fast? I don't know. What's a knot? We should probably know that. Yeah. So this is the moment our entire cruise was leading up to. This was our best chance to sail the ship. They gave us these all access passes that let us get into any area, even if it was only for crew members. First, we toured the kitchen and saw the absurd amounts of food required to feed the ship, like this giant drum of mashed potatoes and this mountain of fresh bread. Then we walked through some storage areas, but finally we started making it to the important areas, like the engine room. Now, for the average person at home, all of these screens and all of these buttons looks like a bunch of nonsense, but for experienced sailors like me and Steve, we were taking mental notes of everything we saw. Okay, starting to figure it's it separate out. thing, but we Put supply the bucket. Finally, we walked down the entire ship. We went through a few security clearance doors and we were even told to leave our bags at the door. We went through one more crew only door and finally that was it the ship's bridge. For those of you that don't know, a bridge on a ship is not like a normal bridge. It's basically the giant room where the captain sails the ship. As we listened to the captain tell us all about the ship, I realized this had to have been the best view on the entire cruise ship. I did ask the captain if I could sail the ship, but he didn't seem to really like that idea. All right, so we finished the tour. I was not able to sail the ship, but they made one big mistake. They let me keep the all access pass. Mm -hmm. I know where the ship deck is. I know how to get there. And now I have the all access pass. Let's go sail the ship. All right. Uh -huh. 